Number one. In Town Box, you step into the role of a trainee town planner with the freedom to create and expand your very own island town. Starting from a tiny patch of land, you'll transform it into a bustling mini metropolis of your own design. The single player sandbox town building game emphasizes creativity and self-expression, allowing you to plop down buildings, customize their colors, and add unique accessories. There are no limits, so your imagination can absolutely run wild, and you can also switch to a resident mode to experience the sights and sounds of your town from street level. You'll also be able to interact with the residents and unlock toys to discover new ways to play. As your town grows, you'll meet unique visitors, help them with their requests, and earn rewards. You can check it out on Steam. Number two. Ink Escape Coven Conundrum is a puzzle-based escape room adventure where you solve puzzles and uncover the stories of your ancestors hidden in books. Following the death of your beloved grandmother, you seek to reconnect with her legacy only to find yourself caught up in a magical mishap alongside a mysterious ink-based companion. The game is played from a first-person perspective, inviting you to journey through different books, each leading to a unique environment filled with puzzles and secrets. You'll gather components, piece together your escape, and unlock new chapters of the story. The game introduces animated puzzles with unique mechanics and a world where every book is a gateway to a new adventure. Number 3 Number 3 struck a chord with me with its solid visuals, so I had to include it. Paul Rescuers is a cozy multiplayer open world adventure where you and your friends can explore, craft, and rescue adorable animals. Journey through a vast landscape filled with forests, caves, and mountains while experiencing dynamic weather and day-night cycle. Gather resources, mine materials, and craft tools to build anything from cozy homes to bustling factories. The heart of the game lies in rescuing cute animals and teaming up with them to protect their kingdom from AI bots that threaten their world. And yes, you also have the option to play solo or with your friends, with plenty of opportunities to customize your character and shape your own unique experience. And if you're working on a game that you want featured this week in Gato, you need to be organized. And I've got a powerful and free tool that you can use right now. ClickUp teamed up to sponsor this video. And for those of you unfamiliar with ClickUp, they're a premier productivity app. And it's what I use not only for my Gato tutorial projects, but also to manage and run this entire channel. ClickUp is basically Notion, Trello, and Asana all wrapped into one app. And that means you can track tasks, set up productivity boards, and organize everything with a calendar view. And for those of you making a game with others or competing in a game jam, you can invite the rest of your team to work alongside you. And creating and assigning tasks to your coder or your 2D artist is super easy. Look, you want to make the best game possible, and that's not going to happen if you're unorganized. Game dev cycles can be long and complex, often spanning months or even years. You've got multiple moving parts like asset creation, coding, QA testing, localization, marketing plans, the list goes on. Even missing one detail can derail the entire thing. And that's where productivity apps like ClickUp have your back. You can get started today 100% for free by visiting my link in the description using the forever free plan. No cards, no trial, no strings attached. You're good to go in seconds and ready to truly organize your game development process. And when you're done, submit your game and have it featured on the channel. Number four. Whispers of Prague is a classic first person point and click adventure set in, you guessed it, modern day Prague, where you play as Victor, a programmer and treasure hunter caught in a web of secrets linked to an infamous executioner. Sounds pretty cool. But what starts as an ordinary evening quickly turns into a deep mystery involving strange artifacts, a cult of fanatical worshippers, and Victor's own unexplained heritage. Guided by the artificial intelligence Arneas, you'll follow clues about mysterious relics, uncover family secrets, and face a dangerous sect determined to protect the executioner's legacy. Armed with just a backpack, a notebook for automatic notes, and a cell phone for communication, you'll have all the tools needed to unravel the truth. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner by three total votes, Red Rogue C. Be sure to vote for your favorite to have them featured in our new Gato Game of the Awards at the end of the year. And a reminder, just because a game doesn't win their week doesn't mean they can't appear in the awards. Number five. 
Hyperflux is a single player speed running 3D platformer that challenges you to race through shattered planets using your zero gravity suit and force manipulating orbs. You play as Elio, a tech soldier who is finally taking a much deserved holiday, only to find himself completing a bucket list in a collapsing universe within 24 hours. You'll navigate a broken world filled with insane levels, pushing and pulling yourself through the air with orbs to reach the end portal as fast as possible. The game emphasizes momentum and precise movement as you manage fuel and use your orbs to cover impossible distances at lightning speed. Compete for the best times, upgrade your suit, and master clever ways to improve your runs. You can check it out on Steam.